for this episode, I thought it'd be interesting if we just kind of did a walk around of these two 1988 Suburbans and, you know, if these things don't want to make you just crank the windows down, throw in some Fleetwood Mac and just crank it up to maximum volume and just cruise down the highway, I don't know what does. interesting thing about these things they're both 1988 so they're both fuel injection and everything but they're optioned sort of differently so I thought it'd be interesting to just compare them and just take a quick gander at you know different things you could get in 1988 and you know what that would result in so these are both two-wheel drive R10 Suburbans um, this one is two-tone this one is just the single color brown. They're the same color brown, and one might look a little shinier and everything, but that's probably just the sunlight on your camera. They are the same paint code. Uh, the top on this is the same paint code as this one. And these are probably as close to factory as you're gonna find these days. Uh, they're pretty much unrestored. Um, we've done basic maintenance and things to keep them going, and this one is still in progress, but uh, We've had this one for a couple years and it's a daily driver but just some interesting things to note about these uh this one has your hood ornament um and of course it's it's the two-tone uh these are both silverado editions uh this one has factory tinted rear windows and originally these panels were tinted and the rear were tinted too but uh when we got it this window here was broken and the only ones we could find on short notice were untinted, so we put in these regular windows, front and rear. Uh, we still have the tinted ones somewhere, but this one, factory untinted um, all around. And that was a factory option back then. This has the tailgate with the crank down window. Uh, this one here has barn doors, which some people like the tailgate, some people like the barn doors, and they have a you know, interesting following. Some people are hardcore tailgate. Some people just, they, you know, they got to have the barn doors. But, you know, disadvantage with the barn doors is, you know, they open wide like that. So, uh, and you don't have a flat surface here. Some people like, you know, for tailgating, they like to have something to sit on or whatever. But, you know, if you're just rolling in sheets of plywood or something and you want to have them hang out here, you don't have a tailgate if you uh, get the barn door option. So... Uh, this one has the third row seat. It's folded down now, but, you know, we got all our junk in here and cargo, but third row seat was an option. This one does not have the third row seat. It's just your standard uh, up-level cargo Suburban, but uh, they all have the same, they have the same interior colors and interior panels and everything. Uh, that's the main interior difference, other than some power options. Um, but you know, if you're in a parking lot, these barn doors are just, they're a little, they're a little more inconvenient if you're in a parking lot. Um, and if you've had some of these, you'll know what I'm talking about. Some people have only ever had the barn doors and some people have only ever had the tailgates. So if you've had one or the other and you're curious about the other one, this is a good opportunity to kind of compare them. This has the roll down window. Some of them have electric. And that's just one more thing to go bad. Uh, the electric motors go bad, and then you got to kind of crawl around in there. And, you know, of course, you got to go in from somewhere else because you can't get the tailgate open if you can't get the window down. So, you know, you just reach in there and grab your handle, and then you have a fold down tailgate. This is actually better for parking lots because you can just drop your groceries in there if you crank the rear window down rather than having to open your barn doors and things like that. Something to note on the tailgate versus barn door models, when you're looking in your rear view mirror, the barn doors, although some people like them, you got that split down the middle. And it's kind of inconvenient when you're looking out the rear and, you know, it's it, it may not look like it, but when you're actually driving, it's, you know, that's pretty inconvenient. But let's go over to the tailgate model and see what that looks like. 
So in the tailgate model, you know, you got that nice wide open rear view there. Um, it's a lot nicer for driving actually. And you know, one of the things you can do when you're driving, if you don't have AC or if you don't want to run the AC, you can open this rear window while you're driving and you get nice airflow through here if you, you know, crank the front windows down and you just use the vent windows, it just kind of shoots through and right out the back. It's very convenient and that's something you can't do with the barn doors. Uh, lots of room back here. This doesn't have the third row seat, but it kind of has the same uh, rear as the other Suburban. The only difference is that third row seat and of course the seat belts. There's no seat belt bolts in there and there's no uh, clips in the bottom for where the seat would be. It was rad on. And if you've ever looked at the barn door uh, versus tailgate, this section is actually different. You can't just swap them out. Uh, you know, you have to have the hinge posts here to screw your hinges into and you know the latch and everything down along here. This whole panel down here is different and they're different on the sides. And of course the tailgate has different add-on panels up here for the window. You know, the barn doors just, they cover that up on their own, but these panels are extra for the tailgate options. Uh, disadvantage with the tailgate is it's, it's heavy. And you know, even though they have a kind of an assist spring in there, you know, that's one of the reasons some people don't like the tailgates, you know, because you gotta lift it, you know, and you know, if your girlfriend weighs 90 pounds, you know, that tailgate weighs as much as she does, so you know, it's an inconvenience. But this does lock your locks in the center there, so if you lock that, you know, this crank does not engage with the lock, with the lock, 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 lock. I don't know. Like Dr. Seuss here. So that just clips in there. Uh, these things, you know, they have the same same fold down rear seats. All your seats are going to be the same uh, with these level Suburbans, but this one has electric windows and they both have electric locks. That was an option. Uh, you could get manual windows, manual locks, electric windows, electric locks, mix and match, whatever you want. Uh, they both have the rally wheels. Uh, again, that was a Silverado thing. You get the Silverado. This one has GMC center caps. Don't ask about that. I'm just too lazy to put on the Chevys. We had to swap wheels real quick in a hurry, and I just never put the Chevy ones back on. They both have a trailer hitch. This one is not a factory trailer hitch. This didn't come with any towing package or anything. So as you can see, somebody has spliced in a great wiring job there with the wire nuts. You know, what could go wrong with that? And they just threw a, looks like a Husky hitch on there. But interesting thing about this one, this has a factory tow package, which included an engine oil cooler, which you can see right there. That's factory. It goes, there's a takeoff right by the oil filter and it circulates engine oil up through that cooler and then back down to the filter again and along with that factory tow package you get the brake controller which this actually hooks into the hydraulics on the brakes uh, it's not purely electrical so when you press your brake pedal it's actually activating uh, this hydraulic switch in here which you can control here but um, it does have brake fluid running through there so while inconvenient, that's the way they did it. Both of these have air conditioning. Uh, both of the air conditioning works. That was kind of standard on the Silverado thing. You can get them without air conditioning, but you know, you spend that much money on a vehicle, you might as well get all the options. So this is your factory trailer hitch. You can see it looks a little different, but you get all your weights and everything on there. Convenient. This is, I don't know if this is a factory or not, but um it, you know have the brake controller and everything so i'm gonna guess that's probably factory uh they're they're both in you know about the same body shape um but interior there's your there's your seats folding up and down and both of them have that of course so you can still get like a full sheet of plywood in here only difference with the third row seat is you kind of got to unsnap that and just take the whole thing out it doesn't fold flat into the floor like modern vehicles do um but kind of the same interior and this one has manual crank windows you know these are such a mix and match of 
options. It's just, you know, it's just interesting to see what, what people ordered. And we know it's factory because both of them have the factory labels in the glove compartment. So, you know, we know what's what. Uh, there's actually a really good seat under here. This is just to protect it because, you know, Winston, he likes to jump up in there and just go to town with his claws. So, um, interesting thing about these uh, steering wheel options. This is a regular non-tilt, it's just a straight column, non-tilt wheel. And, you know, if you look at this, we're going to go look at the other one, which is a, a tilt wheel. Uh, the shifter is a little different because of the way the column's shaped. So let's go over to the other one. Walk, walk, walk. Going over to the other one. Going, going, going. Um, so if you look at this one, uh, you can see the, the, the shifter is a little bit different, and it, it's even in park, the, the angle of the shifter is a little different. It's something you really only notice if you drive these things regularly and you're switching back and forth and you go, oh, this, this feels a little different. Well, that's because it is a little different. Uh, the tilt column, this whole section is, it's revised, you know. From here up it's the same, but from here down on the way the shifter is in there. Um, and why they use that different shifter shape on the tilt wheel only, I don't know. But we have a 78 El Camino here. I'll show you real quick. I mean, it's, it's got the same, it's got the same tilt wheel with the same shifter rather than the, uh, uh, I don't know how well you can see it there, but same shifter, you know, real short kind of Z shape. And uh, just, you know, for comparison, we have this 86. Yeah, we we got a lot of we got a lot of old vehicles around here. We got this 86 square body, and that kind of has the you know the less Z-shaped kind of straight shifter there, because this is just again not your tilt wheel is a standard column. So if you're driving tilt wheel versus non-tilt wheel, it might feel a little bit different if you're moving back and forth, kind of you know when you get that shifter in there and. That's why, because it's just, it is slightly different. It's its not the same. And again, it's really only something you notice if you go back and forth and drive these things regularly, you know. Um, but yeah, just, it's very interesting to have two so similar but different uh, 1988 models, same year, but different options, you know, they're optioned very differently. Now, of course, if you look at a base model, um, it would have probably vinyl seats and, you know, probably a lot of this rear interior trim, you know, it would, you know, put carpet in and everything, you know, like a stripped down government model. But these are both Silverados, so it's just, like I said, so similar and yet so, you know, differently optioned what you can get in the Silverado models back then. So I just thought it'd be interesting to take a look at these things since we have them sitting both right here at the moment. Um... It's just, you know, not many people get a really a side-by-side -side direct comparison here to look at. And we just happened to have one. So I thought I'd film it and, you know, give you a chance to take a look at what we have here. So that's our kind of side-by-side -side 1988 Silverado R10 Suburban comparison. Uh, just, you know, kind of interesting to see some of the differences, you know, and these different options and such identical vehicles. Um, if you like what we're doing, you know, subscribe to the channel and feel free to like, comment, whatever. We do a lot of work on both of these vehicles and we're doing a lot of work on this one at the moment. Um, feel free to, you know, just hang out with us and see what we're doing. And if, you, if you're into square bodies, if you're into suburbans, then these are probably the vehicles to look at because, you know, they're pretty cool. At least we think so, but anyway, thanks for watching. Catch us next time.